I'm Dr. Fred Sharp with the Alaska Whale Foundation. I'm a principal investigator and I've been studying these magnificent animals in southeast Alaska for over a quarter century. One of the things that really attracted me to these whales in Alaska is their large bubble net feeding behavior. You'll get as many as a dozen, sometimes even two dozen whales feeding together in these bubble nets coming up together in sort of a team-like activity. And the film does a really good job of capturing and celebrating this team hunting activity. There are certain whales that are, were featured, melancholy and vulture, two of my favorite animals. They've been working together for decades in this feeding activity. It's very sophisticated. One whale will blow a bubble net, essentially a communal bubble net that the entire pod will feed in. They all come rocketing up together in this beautifully choreographed feeding behavior. And the humpback whale film captures that so well. It's almost like you're in the, you're almost like you're in the bubble net with the whales, bigger than life. I love the sequence with Megan Jones. She is presenting the female perspective of the humpback whales. You know, the males are singing and dancing and fighting, so they get a lot of attention. But it's really, in so many animal systems, it's female choice, which is driving, driving the males crazy, actually. That was celebrated very well. And I like that sequence about the recovery of the whales, one calf at a time. That's actually what it takes. I think that's what's so important is reaching young kids about with, with a message of hopefulness that we can protect our oceans, we can put our heads together, we can use conservation wisdom and compassion, decide that these whales are more worth to us alive than they are as resource commodities. And so that's what I love about the Gullivray Freeman films and humpback whales is that it's a celebration of life, it's a celebration of recovery.